Charlie, day one, an important day always, uh, and a very big day for Caribus, who comes here off the back of a stunning win in the 2000 Guineas. Tell me what he's done in the six weeks since then. Well, first and foremost, to be honest with you, Jim, we're, we're obviously Royal Ascot is the, is the Olympics of, of, of the equestrian field in, in Europe, and uh, very much looking forward to just sending the team there. As you quite rightly say, day one, Caribus is going to be our star horse turning up um, and um, his preparation's gone well. You know, it was always the plan straight from the Guineas um, to head to the St James's Palace, um, and his, his work's been more than pleasing as of late. Uh, obviously, he's got his final piece of work to do on Saturday, and um, then all being well, well, we'll be there on Tuesday, and he'll be the horse they've all got to beat. And the form has been franked by the runner-up, another good old horse in the na native trail. That's right. Um, you know, as you know, he came out and. Uh, Went to one the Irish Guineas there and won it well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's rock solid form, and it, you know as it, as it stands, it looks as though it's got an, another you know good Guineas this year. Um, and um, you know he's the he's, there's no getting away from him. He's the horse that uh, you know everyone's excited to see on the, on the first day. And going to Ascot off the back of Newmarket, completely different course. How do you feel about him going around that bend? Personally, I think it should suit him. He's a he's a you know he's a, he's a, a strong traveller. Uh, and if anything, sometimes on the, you know, the, the straight mile there at Newmarket, you can see that you know, he's, he's had to, for a jockey's point of view, they've had to sort of count to, count to five before they allow him to, to, to make his moves. Whereas you know, on the turn there, it might just allow him just to come back behind the bridle a little bit more and you know, the jockey can therefore be a bit, bit more, you know, not be a bit more patient, but it'll allow the jockey to be able to ride more of a, a race on him than he can over the straight mile, should we say. Let's look at other races, the Coventry. Six furlongs, and no, Noble Style steps out here, having won at Ascot in May. How's he done since then? Yeah, very pleased with him. He's got one more piece to work to go as well on Saturday there. Um, as we all know, it's probably on paper, it's looked the strongest maiden that's been ran so far this year. Um, there's some you know, great forms come through that race, or from that race, should we say. Um, he's a king when as a physical, he's done well. Uh, and I think, you know, the step up in trip is most definitely going to suit him. And there's a bit of a, an Ascot feel about the pedigree. Uh, Arthur Kitt and Arthur Kitt, I think, was a, a, a winner at, uh, at uh, Royal Ascot. That's right. Um, if I stand to be correct, I think Arthur Kitt won the, won the Chesham there. Um, so, like I say, all the indications of going up in trip are going to suit him further on down the line. But um, I still feel he's got a lot of natural pace that um, he's going to be bang there over the six in the Coventry. And you talk about the form, the second World Bank has come out at York and won by seven lengths. That's right, uh, the second's come out and won, as you quite say, very impressively at, uh, at York. Uh, the fourth horse came out at Paul Coles and won impressively at Goodwood. Um, and it's a race that he travelled extremely well um, throughout and picked up well. So, um, yeah, good form and, and uh, you know, he, he, uh, he's a horse that um, we're excited to see on Tuesday. Let's look at the King's Stand now, Group 1, five furlongs, and it's got a real international look to it this year with Nature's Trip coming over from Australia. But you've got uh, Lazuli and uh, Man of Promise in the race. Man of Promise, uh, third in the Alquaz sprint. Were you slightly disappointed that day? Um, well, he's a horse that, um, as we know, he, he, he runs well fresh, first and foremost, so we're going into the race fresh and well. So that's, that's, a, that's a key uh, tick in the box for him. Um, I feel that coming back to the five, the stiff five at Ascot is going to suit him. You know, he went off favourite there uh, in the Alquaz sprint, but he didn't, uh, he didn't disgrace himself. It was a, you know, it was a good competitive event. Um, some might say sometimes at, uh, at Maidan there, if, you, if you're lucky enough to get that golden rail, it is an advantage, which the winner had, reversed to what we had when we beat the, uh, the winner of the Alquaz sprint in the trial. Um, so, you know, he, he, He's, he's a good solid horse uh, and I feel that the, the track and trip are going to suit him. And Lazuli, a word about him? Lazuli, as we know, uh, you know, it's sort of been his target since he won the, uh, the blue point sprint over the five there. He's a lot of natural pace. Um, he's, uh, he looks like a sprinter. He's a good old fashioned style sprinter. Big back end on him, shoulders on him. Um, you know, he's taken on the young pretenders. As you quite rightly say, it's, it's going to be a great race to a watch and B be part of, um, with all the international challenges coming from America and uh, Australia. So um, there'll be a there'll be a lot of pace on, and um, it's going to be uh, yeah, I say exciting exciting race to be part of.
And let's have a look at a, a couple of familiar faces just to wind up this first day of preview. Uh, the Wolverton Stakes, you've got Star Safari. Yeah, as you quite rightly say, uh, he's one of the, uh, the older horses on the block there. Uh, has been a solid campaigner out in, uh, in Dubai there. Um, you know, he, he, fits the, uh, he fits the conditions of the race well. Um, and his preparation's gone well as uh, likewise, you know, the rest of the team going into the, into the week. Um, so, you know, he, he won't look out of place and he'll be competitive. Uh, we, as we know, it's a, it's a tough race to win. And finally, the Copper Horse Stakes, which is a, a relatively new uh, uh, race at, uh, at Royal Ascot, and obviously a popular one, two over the mile and six, a handicap. Uh, you've got Bandinelli in there. Uh, He's won five of his ten starts so far, but he comes here off the back of a, a run at Haydock where he didn't run very well at all. No, but he seems to be a horse that on, on two occasions now, after a break, his first run back, he's been a bit disappointing. And he was like that at Salisbury uh, on his first run after a, you know, an absence. Um, so, uh, you know, yeah, we've got to put a line through that. Nothing came out of the race at all. Um, again, he's come back. He, he's a horse that uh, he's running over that trip for a reason. He does nothing... Um, quickly in the mornings. Um, you know, we might just change his headgear around to try and get a bit more concentration there. But uh, again, you know, you, you take the, the, the best of his sort of, you know, winning form, should we say. Uh, he deserves to be there and, and you know, hopefully he can run a nice race.